All right, you lot, I hope you're all doing well. For some reason, I keep cocking up this intro. All I'm trying to say is that I went for a little photo walk, but I keep ballsing it up. But anyway, all I did in this video was go for a little photo walk with the Sigma 30mm 1.4 lens and the Sigma 56mm 1.4 lens. I went out nice and early, it was nice and peaceful, and I headed down to Old Lee, Leon C, along the seafront there. And I just had a little walk up and down, like, you know, for, I don't know, how long was it, about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. And yeah, got a few decent shots in there. I think, you know, some of them were distinctly average, but you can have a little look and see what you think yourself. One thing I have noticed from these last couple of photo walk videos that I've done is that it is becoming a bit of a ball ache to keep switching lenses out. You know, like this last one or the last couple that I've done, I've gone out of all my lenses. I'll kind of put the 30 mil on because I find it's the most sort of easiest walk around lens. And I have every intention of taking some shots on the other two lenses, the other two Sigma Primes. But in all honesty, it's been freezing cold. I can't be bothered to keep changing them out. So I just end up sticking, you know, I'll, whatever's on there, I'll, you know, the 30 mil, I'll leave that on. You know, I know on this one, I, you know, I used the 56 for a few shots, but generally I, I use the 30 mil for the majority of the walk. So anyway, to cut a long story short, I've decided to get that new 18 to 50 mil Sigma zoom lens, which if you haven't heard or seen about, you probably have if you're into this kind of stuff. But if you haven't, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check that lens out. But yeah, I've ordered, I literally ordered it yesterday, so it should be turning up today. Wouldn't it be amazing if it turned up while I'm doing this video? But yeah, it should be turning up today. So expect plenty of videos on that as soon as I've got it. But other than that, I'll shut up now and just let you watch the vid. It's just, a, I don't know, I think it's about 10 minutes or so of just fairly sort of quiet street photography, um, which hopefully will be nice and relaxing for you. Anyway, I'll catch you later. I plotted up down this alleyway and just got super lucky with a couple of people walking down the end. I'm no seasoned street photographer and luckily I've never been confronted by anyone that I've taken a picture of but you know if you're if you're out there and you're nervous about doing street photography because it can be a bit nerve-wracking you know you are pointing the camera at people in some instances and you know I do get a few funny looks like I say no one's ever said anything so far but my advice to you is that I've always got a little line ready to go you know if someone ever confronts me I always think I'll just kind of be a, act a little bit sort of naive and just say, you know, oh, I'm just getting into photography. I've got a new lens I'm testing out. Um, you know, I'd make up a bit of a bit of spiel like that. You know, if someone's real persistent and they know that you've taken a photograph of them and they don't they don't want you having that photo, then, you know, it's no biggie. Just delete it. I think in general, the advice is just, you know, don't be a dick. Be nice to people, and I think nine times out of ten, they don't really mind you taking their pictures and stuff anyway. I loved all the textures going on here, so I thought I'd get in a bit closer and just grab a few close up shots. Hey, good boy. 
This is a little technique that I use where I want to get a shot of the guy here in the cafe, but I'll just pretend to take some shots of anything like the boat in the distance and then just whip round right at the end and grab the shot. I always love shots like this that tell a little story and you know this guy seems so deep in thought I always find it so interesting I just think you know I wonder what what this guy is thinking about At this point I stuck on the Sigma 56mm, so the next half a dozen shots or so are all taken with that lens. From this point, I'm back on the 30 mil. I thought I'd quickly whip round and grab this shot off the train, which I thought was very, very average. So I kind of just edited the shit out of it and didn't actually mind the end result too much. I thought I'd try and use the rope on this boat to just try and make a bit of a leading line to make it look a bit more interesting, but I don't really think it worked to be honest. Never mind, on to the next. I took this shot portrait, but I think it looked just a lot more interesting cropping into it landscape. Sorry guys, that's it. That's really famous from there. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. This was a little memorial that I walked past for a young lad called Luke Belfield, who apparently was an up and coming boxer.
So there we go, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's inspired a few of you to go out there and grab your camera and head out and do some shooting. A few of you guys have messaged me that over the past and said, you know, that, oh, your videos, you know, I've just watched it and it's made me want to pick my camera up and, and go and start taking some shots. And that's amazing, you know, that's that's one of the reasons that I that I do this channel, as well as obviously fame, fortune and women, <laughs> but, which <laughs> none of those things have happened yet, by the way. But yeah, um, Please do like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Leave a comment, do anything, share it with your mates, whatever, all of that stuff really helps. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>